Hello coders, this is Jared with Renaissance Coders and in this video we are going to add a new script to our simple scripting series in Unity. Now so far we have covered position manipulation, rotation manipulation, color manipulation, and lighting manipulation. But we have yet to cover some camera property manipulations. So in this video we are going to create a new script that will change the field of view on our camera over time and as needed. The first thing that I want to point out here is that I am working within a new scene so let's take a quick look at this new scene here. Okay, so as you can see, I've just got a couple of objects set up in my hierarchy. I've got my main camera at a Z value of like negative 26, a Y value of, let's just go with two. Nice round numbers. Directional light won't really matter for this video. We've got a floor, which is just a basic cube with an X scale of 15 and a Z scale of 50, and the position is zeroed out. I've got another cube here that has the lerper script attached to it with two empty game objects for the targets. One at this end of the floor and the other at the far end of our floor. And the position of this cube is at, uh, let's say it's at one. And on the Z it's at a negative 25. So we'll start off a little behind, but that's okay. And of course my empty game objects are at, uh, just put them pretty close to the edges here on each end. So if I go out to this one, we can see that it's just pretty close to the edge again. And that's pretty much it for this scene. Okay, now that we've covered our scene, we actually, we need to go to our assets uh, scripts folder and we're just going to create a new C sharp script. And for this script, I can just call it a basic camera zoom. Okay, cool. Now let's go ahead and open it up and get to work. Okay, now this script is actually fairly simple. There's not a lot of complex stuff going on inside of it, but it is pretty cool and can be quite useful. Okay, so up at the top here, I'm just going to create several variables that we're going to need for this script. So for this script, we're actually going to need three floats. So we're going to say public float, and I'm actually going to go ahead and copy public float there. And the first one's going to be a max cam distance here. We're going to set this equal to a 10F. The next one's going to be a min cam FOV for field of view, set this to like 5F. And the final float that we're going to need that's public is going to be our FOV speed. And we can just set this to a value of like 1F. Okay, we are going to need two references. So we're going to need a public transform that we can just call our target. And we're going to need a public camera that we can just call my cam. Finally, we're going to need a private float that we can just call our initial FOV for field of view. Now inside of our start function, we want to of course get our camera set up. So we're going to say my cam is equal to this dot get component type of camera. And we're actually going to go ahead and set our initial FOV equal to my cam dot field of view. Now the next thing we're going to actually do is just create a very simple function. So we can say, so our function can just return a void and we can just say reset FOV. Don't need any parameters for this. And inside of it, we're just going to say my cam dot field of view is equal to our initial FOV. Pretty simple. Now we actually want to change our update function to a late update function. And inside of this function, we're going to handle all of our logic needed. So the first thing we're actually going to do is check to see if our target is null. So we're going to say if target is equal to null. And if it is equal to null, we're just going to call our reset field of view function. If it is not null, so we're going to say else, then we're going to do some stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is say my cam dot transform dot, whoops, lowercase t dot look at, and we're going to look at the target here. And now we actually need to do a distance check. And basically what this script is going to do is decrease our field of view once an object gets far enough away from our camera, and then increase our FOV once the object comes back close enough to the camera. So we're going to say if vector three dot distance here. We're gonna have to pass in two vector three. So we're gonna pass in a transform dot position and we're gonna pass in our target dot position. We're gonna see if this is greater than our max camera distance. And if it is, we need to do something here. So in order to make sure that our camera's FOV doesn't get like really, really small, we're actually gonna do a check to make sure that it doesn't go beneath our minimum FOV that we set up here. So inside of our if statement here, we're going to create a nested if and say if my cam dot field view is less than or equal to our min cam, then we are going to set my cam dot field view equal to min cam dot min cam field of view or FOV. 
Okay, pretty simple stuff. And this will just make sure that our camera doesn't change the FOV too much. Now, after our else statement, we're going to say else. And all we want to do here is say my cam dot fill the view minus equals our FOV speed. So very simple here. Now we also need to do a different distance check here. So we're gonna say else if, let me scroll down a little bit, vector three dot distance. And again, we're gonna pass in transform dot position and target dot position. This time though, we're gonna see if it is less than our max camera distance. If our distance check is less than our max camera distance, we're just going to say my cam dot fill the view plus equals our FOV speed. And now finally, we want to actually say if my cam dot field of view is greater than or equal to our initial field of view then we're just going to call our reset field of view function here okay cool now let's go ahead and save that before we go back to our scene though let's take a quick look to make sure we understand what this is going to be doing okay so the first thing we're doing is checking to see if our target is equal to null and if it is equal to null then we're just going to make sure that our field of view is equal to our initial field of view. Now we could also do something like find game objects with tag inside of here if we wanted to, but I'm not really that worried about it for this script because this script is fairly simple. Inside of our else statement, we're just making sure that our camera is actually looking at our target first. Then we're doing a distance check to see if our object has moved far enough away from our camera. And if it has, we are going to first of all check to make sure that our field of view is not less than our minimum field of view. And if it is not less than our minimum field of view, then we decrease our field of view. Our second distance check here sees if our object has moved close enough to the camera and if it has then we increase our field of view. Again we just quickly check to see if our camera's field of view is greater than our initial field of view then we want to make sure that our field of view remains set to the initial field of view. Now let's go back out to our scene here. Check the console. Doesn't look like we have any errors. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and click on our camera and we can just drag our basic camera zoom script over there. And let's add our cube as our target. And now let's go ahead and actually test it. Okay, there we can see the cube has gone away from us and our camera zoomed down to a field of view of five. And now the cube is coming back. And there it goes, should change. So it zoomed out rather quickly there and now it's zoomed back in. So what we actually may want to do is increase or decrease our field of view speed because that was a kind of a jarring change. I think that may be occurring because the uh, the rotation of the camera is happening. So when it gets close enough, it boom, looks down and then goes back away really quickly. Now, the final thing that I do want to point out with this script is the FOV speed that we have here. Of course, we can manipulate this value. So we can actually up our field of view speed to like, let's set it to around three here. And we should notice a significant change in how quickly our field of view changes. So as you can see there, it changed much faster that time. We could also play with the minimum FOV. So if I change it to a value of like 15, you can see that it initially shifted, but it is going to basically restrict the amount of change we have in our camera's field of view. Okay, now let's go ahead and stop that. Okay, coders, that is going to do it for this video. We will be adding more scripts to this simple scripting series. Let us know in the comments below if you would like to see us cover something in Unity, and we will do our best to create the video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.